Welcome to Safe Conveyor. Today we're demonstrating a zone control. For those who don't know what zone control is, it's basically creating a travel zone between two different drives. This one has to be eight feet. And then the next one, so there'll be a drive at each one of these eight foot sections and a sensor, and another drive with a sensor. And the, the purpose of this is to give the operator at the end more time to unload, to reduce what's called bunching or accumulating or packing, where you end up, if you just put a stop at the end and everything gets all bunched up. So with zone control, you're using more drives, but you're making it so that it can be easily loaded and unloaded. Now this was loaded up and it was loaded continuously, boom, 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 one after the other. But as soon as it started to fill in, you see it created spaces. As each zone was filled, it wouldn't let anything else go on. Now, if we start taking these off, we can start to see what happens. So we're gonna remove the first one. And what you're gonna see happen is, it's gonna to start to come down the line here, reach this sensor, but that's still going, the second one, and it's starting to fill in. Now we'll take another one off, starting to fill in again and you'll see the other lines all start to catch up and fill in. We'll take another one off. And you see down the line they're all starting to fill in. That last line is still running because it's already off that line so there's nothing to stop it. So I'm going to come down to the end and see what happens when a, another box is put on the line. So here we have a running line. The operator comes up and he puts a box on it. And the whole line's not turned off. Just this, this line's still on. Now it's gonna go down to that line. It's like, oh, it's gonna get the other box. Nope, shuts off. That's a zone. Now if we come down to the line, we take off another box, you'll see that box will start up. So we're really gonna watch the last box on the line. Take this one off. That clears, that clears. See that box went off that line. And this will continuously be filled in. Now it's a beautiful thing about the zone control, this type of setup is, if someone comes along and removes a box right here, ah, the line just filled in. And we keep doing that, and we just keep filling in. Now if you have really slow fill systems, and you're only putting on a box very seldom, so you'll have a box come down the line, and it'll be sitting at that zone. It won't come into the next zone. And then let's take this, let's take some of these boxes off this line to show how if you have everything spread out. We'll take these two off. So now what we have is line one box at each zone. And the point of that is that that the boxes are really long you'd have one box per zone. But if you have a long zone, a small box, you can have more than one box in the zone. So here's what happens when you take off a box. So, um, the, the second one's gonna immediately go. As soon as it clears, the next one's gonna go. This will get down to the end. And stop. And then the next one will keep going till it gets to its end and stop. And if somebody puts a box on the line, comes up, puts a box on the line, it won't go past this zone because there's a box in front of this zone. So that's a simple thing. Its standard conveyor does have some sensors that have been added. There's no computer, no programming, no software. This is just straight analog logic. That that's how it's going to work. These are shipped out as individual conveyors, and they bring them together, and they plug them in through this wire to that wire. So each zone talks to each other through that one wire. Very simple system. You can modify it. You can get the zones smaller. The smaller they are, the more you need, and the more expensive it gets. This particular one, they only needed to accumulate for that one 24-foot line, and that became very practical. And I know it was a long tape, but thanks for watching.